Welcome back to the Java tutorial. And today we're going to be getting a, like a phone number as input and then we're going to format it so it looks like this. So the first thing we need to do is always we need a scanner to get user input. So we can do scanner SCNR equals new scanner system.in. And by the way, this phone number I just picked at random is not my actual number. You could call it or don't call it, it might be someone's real phone number. And then we're going to use a long. So we could say long, and then we'll call it phone number. It's pretty much like a double, just bigger. We could hold more. And then we could say long. So we could do the first, like three would be the area code. We could say long area code. And then we could do mid three numbers. When I say mid three numbers, I mean these. And then we could do last four. Use some weird looking variables, but we're gonna go with it. And then now we need user input for like our for our actual phone number. So we could do equals scanner dot next long. It knows it's a long because we told it it is. So on this line of code, we're gonna be user input, which is gonna be a long, which would be like a sample phone number. In this case, this phone number I made up, it's gonna be stored inside phone number. And then we have three more long variables: area code, which would be the two hundred nine, the mid three numbers, which would be these right here. In the last four, which would just be the last four numbers. So now we have everything, now we just have to format it. So we could say, well, how will we do this? We could say last four equal to phone number. And then we could use the modulus, like modulus division or whatever it's called. And then we could divide that by, let's go 10,000. So what this is going to do, this is going to get the far most right numbers. It's going to get the far most four. Imagine these zero is going to like each of the last four numbers. So this is going to store the last four. So then we could do, you just have to find the one for mid, mid three numbers. For that, we could divide normally to shift over by right by some number. So we could do equals, and then we could do phone number divided by we could do 10,000 again, because this is going to shift us right. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're right here. We're in the 5. So let's divide that by 10,000. The reason I'm using this number is when you divide something by like a number like this, just look at the zeros. It'll shift you right by 4. I know there's other ways you could, use, you could do it using substring, but this is like the easiest method. So it's going to shift us right by 4. We have the 2, 0, 9, and now we're at the 5. In, uh, remember how we did a lot of previous this um, divided by modulus by 10,000 will give us the last four digits so if we do the same thing but instead of 10,000 we do it by 1,000 which has three zeros this will get us the three middle numbers right there so we have the last four mid three now we're in the area code so for the area code we're going to do something similar we could say phone number we could say uh, we could do divided by 10,000 again actual division so that's going to ship us right by four because we have four zeros so we're going to go one two three four so now we're looking at this or we're looking at this right here. It's, it's a little easier and then we could divide that by 1,000 so we're going to like select the most three numbers and we'll divide by 1,000 so if we do that that will select these three numbers right here when you when you like do modulus division by like by a number with four zeros, it'll get these last four numbers. Dividing by like a number with four zeros will shift this right by four. So we're at one, two, three, four. We're at the five, and then modulus by three zeros would give us these three numbers, which would be the mid three numbers. And then we could divide it by ten thousand to shift to the four, just by shift four over one, two, three, four, and then dividing by by a thousand will give us these first two numbers. Uh, so, so we're pretty much done with the hard part. Now we just have to print it out. Okay. So they wanted, let's see if we can match the little output. It's kind of hard because you have to think about it, how like, how to match output. Okay, so we have that, which would be the first little, which would be this, and then we'll do the area code. And copy and paste it. So we have the area code, and then we have to add the last little bracket. Let's do a test run to see. And I'm going to input this number right here. 
So far, it looks like we're good. We have the first number right here. Then think uh, we're gonna add a space after to match uh, match like the desired output. So we could do a space. So the way you do a space, you do like um empty like nothing in there, which is what the like an, with the empty space in there, and then we'll add a space to your actual code or to your text that you're printing out. And then we could do the mint three numbers. Let's run that one more time. Oop. Typed in the mint three numbers instead of the phone number. Okay. So we have the two nine five seven five, and then now we need a there's a dash like in an actual phone number, so we need to put like a little dash. Uh, it's right next to each other, so then we have that, and then we just do the last four. And if we did everything correct, oop, put the last four in again. And there it is. There's our number. There's a phone number that's formatted. If this helped you at all, if you just enjoyed watching, leave a like and subscribe.